Monday. It is the 30th of December. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is CNN News Center, live from Hong Kong. Our top stories today. In a fight for his life, that's how doctors in Grenoble, France, are now describing Michael Schumacher. In a press conference just a short time ago, they said the Formula One legend remains in critical condition. He had emergency brain surgery on Sunday after falling and hitting his head in a ski accident. Well, CNN's Jim Bolden is following developments from outside the hospital where Schumacher is right now. He joins us now live from Grenoble in France. And Jim, as we heard there from the doctors saying they are uh, the prognosis uh, for Schumacher remains unclear, but of course the next uh, 48 hours will be critical. Yes, Manita, they say critical condition. Uh, they have, of course, in this press conference, described a little bit more information that uh, Michael Schumacher fell on his right side. Indeed. All right, Jim, thank you very much. Jim Bolden there live for us from outside the hospital there in Grenoble in France. Well, let's get more now on that kind of support that uh, Michael Schumacher has been receiving. World Sports Amanda Davis joins us now from CNN London. Uh, Amanda, as we heard there from Jim, uh, Michael Schumacher is, is a much-loved sportsman, especially those who support uh, and follow uh, uh, Formula One, but also he's an, he's an avid skier. He is, Manita, and there is something of a bitter irony that Michael Schumacher, a man who did so much for... Yeah, it's early days yet, all right. Amanda, thank you very much for that. Amanda Davis there in London. Security is being stepped up across Russia following two deadly suicide attacks in the southern city of Volgograd. The first bomb hit the city's main railway station on Sunday, and the second went off Monday morning on board a busy commuter bus. 31 people are dead in both attacks. No one has claimed responsibility for the blasts, but authorities say they are the work of terrorists. Well, the attacks are raising serious concerns about security ahead of the Winter Olympic Games, which are due to begin in southern Russia in just over five weeks' time. Let's cross over to Diana Magna, who joins us now live from Moscow. And Diana, as we say that there has been no claim of responsibility, but uh, I'm assuming Moscow has an idea uh, who's behind this. Well, as you say, no claim of responsibility. Um, the main terrorism threat uh, that this country faces emanates from the North Caucasus region. A worrying situation. All right, uh, Diana, thank you very much for that. Diana Magni, they're live for us uh, from Moscow. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. It's We're watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. I'm Monita Rajpal. The South Sudanese government says it has convinced ethnic militia to retreat from war. An estimated 20,000 people loyal to former Vice President Riek Machar had been heading to the city, sparking fears of more violence. In Africa's newest nation, the humanitarian crisis is worsening. The United Nations estimates that 63,000 people are seeking refuge in UN bases. Some of the other stories we're following for you here at CNN News Center. Authorities in China say police shot and killed eight people who attacked a police station in Xinjiang. Officials say explosives were thrown at the station and police vehicles were set on fire. They say one surviving attacker was taken into custody. There are reports of violence in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Witnesses say gunmen attacked the headquarters of the country's state radio and television broadcaster. And the Reuters news agency says there's been heavy gunfire at the international airport in the capital, Kinshasa. There are reports that 40 people have been, in, have been killed in both attacks. Israel says it will begin releasing 26 Palestinian prisoners in the next couple of days. The prisoners have all served sentences of 19 to 28 years. The release comes as U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry goes back to the region this week to try to move along peace talks. The San Miguel region of El Salvador is under a dark cloud of smoke after its Chaparastic volcano erupted Sunday. The first eruption in nearly four decades sent a plume of volcanic ash several kilometers high. El Salvador's president is urging residents to head to nearby shelters. 33 flights in and out of the country have been canceled. Now, it's not quite mission impossible, not yet anyway, but it appears to be turning into mission impassable. An Australian icebreaker has turned back after struggling to reach a research ship trapped in the Antarctic. The rescue vessel made it to within 10 nautical miles of the ship before bad weather stopped it from going any further. 74 people are stuck. Matthew Chance joins us now from London with more on this uh, very difficult mission to rescue them. Matthew? 
Yeah, extremely difficult. And of course, this, this ship, this Russian scientific vessel, the Academic Shikalsky, as it's called, with 74 people on board. Indeed. All right, Matthew, thank you very much. Matthew Chancellor, live for us from London. Well, let's get an update on the weather conditions there that uh, the rescue ship is encountering. Our meteorologist, Mari Ramos, is at the World Weather Center with more on that. Mari? Uh, Monita, what a, what a fascinating and, and scary story at the mm. same time to think of people trapped there at the bottom of the world in ice. You know, I see. Um, it's going to be freezing. A minus two right at midnight. I don't think New Yorkers are going to mind at all. Yeah, well, they've got our Anderson Cooper there to entertain the masses <laughs> in uh, Times Square, so that'll keep them warm, I'm sure. Yeah. Mari, thank you very Sorry. much for that. You are watching CNN News Center live from Hong Kong. Milan is usually considered Italy's fashion capital, but for a leading men's magazine, it's all about Rome. Thanks to this man. We'll tell you why. Move over, Brad Pitt. Step aside, George Clooney. It looks like you have some very serious competition in the style department. Esquire magazine has named Pope Francis. The and I'm Monita Rajpal at CNN Hong Kong. You've been watching CNN News Center. Thank you for joining us. I'll bring you an update of the news headlines in just a couple of minutes.